tough situation. We've had some tough games. Uh, we've come up short. We're, we're battling everybody wire to wire. And uh, we just haven't been able to cross that bridge. But I, I do believe we have some wins coming. Uh, I believe that uh, the guys are pretty resilient. The fact that um, you know we're playing people tough. And uh, the, the most positive things about the guys have been their ability to move forward and uh, not beat themselves up. So uh, you know we've got another game in front of us. Uh, we've had two uh, special games last year with Providence. Uh, we scored over 200 points in those two games. Uh, I don't know if we can do that this year, but we certainly want to have the same kind of outcome. Uh, they're a team that can really score the ball. Marshawn Brooks is having a terrific year. Um, you know, for us, I think a big key is we've got to tighten up our defense a little bit. It has slipped in the last few games. Some of that is, is us. Some of that is the opponents we play. Uh, at the same time, I think offensively, we have improved quite a bit. We turned over a little bit too much yesterday, but we have been a little bit better in that area. Uh, this team, uh, I think right now, we've got to find a way to keep guys like Juwan Zapolin on the floor a lot longer. Uh, his foul trouble, I thought, was a significant factor uh, in, in the game yesterday, not having him on the court for uh, 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 more, a majority of that time. Any questions? Well, when you're talking about the team being resilient, then that must make it so much more frustrating to see yeah. you guys come up short. Yeah. It's... I don't know if frustration is the right word. I mean, we, we came into the season knowing that we lost a lot. We lost a lot of really, really good players and a great player in itself. And so when you're bringing in a lot of new guys, you know you're going to have some bumps and bruises. I think the thing that maybe caught us off guard a little bit was how strong our schedule was. You know, not just the Big East, but how strong the non-conference schedule was. Right now, our, our strength of schedule is eighth in the country. We've got the eighth hardest schedule. And when you look at, um, don't look at years in terms of sophomore, juniors, and seniors. Look at experience in terms of how much playing time guys have had at the college level. And if you put in that equation, you'll see we're one of the youngest teams in the country with the amount of guys that are playing so many minutes that haven't played a lot. Um, so you put in those two factors, and we probably, you know, and I kick myself, I don't think I did a good job of of, of building our team's confidence with our schedule. Um, so it's not necessarily, you know, to answer your question, frustration, it's we, we faced a, a grueling schedule. And I mean, just think about this, Murderers Row, Louisville, Villanova, Cincinnati, all the teams that are ranked in the top 25, back to back to back, and you're playing them six, single digits pretty much, except the Villanova game. So, you know, again, I think that speaks to our, to our guys because you know, I looked at a lot of scores last night, and I saw Georgetown by, get beat by 15. I saw other teams get beat by 25 in other conferences. And, um, and yet our team, even though we've been taking some lumps, we still continue to battle. And I like that in our team, and I'm very faithful and confident our team can turn the corner. Stan, if you can just talk about the, the starting lineup. You've been using a lot of key guys coming in off the bench, kind of waiting two, three minutes, and just what that does to not have them from the start, but let them kind of come in after watching the game for a few minutes? Well, you know, I said that I think for chemistry and I think for uh, just just guys' mindset, I think it's healthy what I'm doing with our big guys, just kind of rotating those guys in the starting lineup. And I don't think uh, we're really missing a beat one way or the other. Um, I don't know what to do exactly with the perimeter. I don't know if Juwan's is a better starter, if a better guy coming off the bench. I don't know if Norega is a better guy coming off the bench. Better start. I've started all different ways. Hugh Robinson's probably been the only guy I've consistently put out there, um, and that's because I think he's the best defender, and I think we have to have that defensive presence out there. And he gives us a little bit, even though he's not necessarily the best at it, but he's he gives us a secondary ball handler, to take a little bit of ball, passing and, and ball skills away from Crater. Um, I, so I don't have the answer. I guess I'm dodging the question, but um, you know, at the same time, I think. The key is Poland is the key guy, but Poland needs to be able to stay out there on the court uh, without getting himself in foul trouble. Any chatter?